Yo, what's up guys, stay safe here. So Blizzard has confirmed that Classic WoW have progressive gear additions, but not progressive itemization, which means that we are good to go ahead and start looking at some Classic WoW pre-raid best in slot gear lists. So in this video, we'll go over Hunter pre-raid best in slot. Let's get into it. So first off, starting with your helm slot is Mask of the Unforgiven, which drops off of a monster called uh, the Unforgiven in Strathome. Next up is your neck piece, Mark of Forging from a very long group quest called In Dreams, which takes place in Eastern Plaguelands. Now, a lot of other people need this quest as well, so it, you'll oftentimes see people in guild chat or trade chat or general chat or just in general chat in Eastern Plaguelands trying to find people to help them complete this quest. This is not a hard thing to get done. Your pre-raid best in slot shoulders are the True Strike shoulders. These drop off of Pyroguard Embers here in Upper Blackrock Spire. This is an unskippable boss, so every time you're doing an Upper Blackrock Spire run, and you're going to be doing a lot of them, you have a chance to get a hold of these. Now, if you're a Cloak slot, you're looking for Cave of the Black Baron, which drops off of Baron Rivendare, the final boss in Stratham Undead. Now, uh, melee DPS want this cloak as well, so this is going to be actually one of the harder pieces for you to acquire on this period best and slot list, just because there's going to be so much competition for it, and it's sort of tedious to go back and kill Baron Rivendare, especially early on throughout the lifespan of Classic WoW. Now for your chest piece, your period best in slot is Savage Gladiator Chain. This drops off of Garrosh the Dervish, who spawns randomly during the Ring of Law event in Blackrock Depths. Now, melee DPS and tanks are going to want this as well. This is going to be a very, very hotly contested item. It's going to be hard for you to get, um, but this is technically your period best in slot piece. Your period best in slot bracers are called Slash Claw Bracers. These drop off of Halison, a giant wolf in Lower Blackrock Spire. Um, these are not going to be that hard to get. Now for your period best in slot gloves, you're going to try to get a hold of Devil Sword Gauntlets. These are a leatherworking crafted BOE piece that you can buy, um, or you can level um, skinning and leatherworking and try to go skin a Devil Sword and make them yourself. There might be a lot of competition for that on your server early on, but either way, um, you can just buy these if you need to, not that hard to get a hold of. For your belt, you're looking for Frostbite Girdle. This drop off of Ras Frost Whisper, who's a lich in the second half of Skullamance. Now, similar to your gloves, for your period best in slot legs, you're looking for the Devil's for Leggings. Once again, a BOE blue leatherworking uh, crafted item. For your period best in slot feet, you're looking for what are called the Wind Runner Greaves. These drop off Katronos the Herald, a summonable, bo summonable boss in the first half of Skullamance, and you summon him by killing the Succubus boss in the second room, getting her blood, and then putting it at the altar um, in the room that follows that, and you summon him that way. Now for your two rings, you're going to first off want to get a hold of Painweaver Band, which drops off of General Dracosath and Upper Blackrock Spire. This will be sort of a hard item to get because there's a lot of competition, and this is the last boss of a 10-man raid slash dungeon. For your second ring, this one's much easier. It's called the Blackstone Ring. This drops off of Princess Theradross in Moradon, the final boss of Moradon, and you're going to be soloing this anyway because in early Classic WoW, Phase 1 of Classic WoW, uh, Moradon gold farming is how you're going to be getting most of your gold, and you, you kill her as part of that gold farm, so you're actually going to have more of these than you know what to do with. Now for your two period best in slot trinkets, the first one, Black Hand's Breath, is a quest reward where you go into Upper Blackrock Spire and you kill General Dracosath. This is not hard to get, um, it's hard to mess this one up. For your second trinket, Hand of Justice. This is going to be a problem for a lot of you hunters out there. This drops off of Emperor Dagger and Thorason in Blackrock Depths, and the reason why this is going to be a problem is because melee DPS want this, and it's their period best in slot, and it is technically better for them than it is for you. You only get the attack power. They also get uh, the, the on chance effect, so a lot of um, arguments are going to ensue when you roll on this, but it is technically your period best in slot piece for this trinket slot. Now for your period best in slot weapons. Um, these two weapons, Dalren Sacred Charge and Dalren's Tribal Guardian, both drop off of Warchief Rend uh, Blackhand and Upper Blackrock Spire. People oftentimes do what are called Rend runs, where they will go into Upper Blackrock Spire, fight halfway through it, kill Rend, and then run out and reset. So people are farming these all the time. This, These two weapons are going to be another point of contention between you, the Hunter, and Melee DPS, because Melee DPS want these as well as part of their period best in slot list. So... Yay, that's what it is, so good luck on rolling for those. So now let's talk ranged weapon, quiver, and ammo. So if you're a ranged weapon, you're going to want to get a hold of Black Crow, which drops off of Shadowhunter Voshka Jin in Lower Blackrock Spire. For a quiver, it's going to be called Ribley's Quiver. This drops off of Wrigley Screw Spigot in the Grim Guzzler part of Blackrock Depths. And as for your ammo, you're probably mostly going to be using Thorium Headed Ammo, which is uh, a reward from a quest either for Horde Alliance. The Horde one is called a Fair Trade. For Alliance, it's called Arrows Are for Sissies. And you trade Thorium Shells in in either Iron Forge or Orgrimmar. Now, technically, period best in slot ammo is called Doomshot. 
This drops off of Shadowhunter, Voshka Jin, and Lower Blackrock Spire, as well as Black Crow. Um, this is your Biss Ammo. It's not really farmable though, so if you happen to get some A, keep it, save it for a special occasion, but just know that more often than not, you're going to be using Thorium Headed Arrows. For a detailed list of all the items discussed in this video, check out the description below where you'll find my social media links as well as a spreadsheet document that you can go and check them out in, in spreadsheet format. So guys, that wraps up this period best of slot video. For Hunter, make sure to check out my other class period best of slot videos if you're playing something other than a Hunter or in addition to a Hunter. Check out my weekly Classical updates, so Classical Weekly. And if you haven't already, hit the sub button. Find me on Twitch, I'm there all the time. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, stay safe.